Hey, welcome back. I'm going to talk to you about spam. Why do we want to talk about spam? I don't like spam. Do you like spam? Look, in our emails, whether you got Gmail or Yahoo or whatever, spam gets in. And then we have lots of filters that can help us out. Now, with Elemental, you are still going to get some spam coming in. This is where it's robots or AI or just people being a little bit sneaky sending over messages. And when you've got a client's website, clients might call you back up and go, well, you built my website. I'm still getting spam. Get rid of it for me. Now, unless your customer or your client wants to invest in some plugins or a bit of kicks, that's going to try to reduce it as much as possible. You might want to go for a free solution and things like recapture v3 are a good way to start the one you get from Google. I'm going to show you how we can do something a little bit extra with Elemental, which isn't going to completely solve the problem. Because I've got to be honest here, if someone's going to spam you, they are going to spam you, okay? That's just the way life works. But you can heavily reduce robot and some AI spam bots out there to hopefully make your clients and your life feel a little bit easier. Hey, I'm Imran, Web Squadron. I hope you like, subscribe, share and follow because we love having you and I'm sure you love having us. Or maybe not, but I hope you do. So I've got over here a elemental form, nothing fantastical, name, email, message. You might have more fields and whatnot. What we're going to do in the form is use Honeypot. Now I'm going to show you something that a lot of people don't do. What people do is they go over here, you know, like add field, and then in the type, they'll go and pick Honeypot because they've read somewhere that Honeypot is going to like solve the world and stop spam coming in. Yes and no. There's a little bit more you've got to do with it. So I've added in item four. I'm going to give this a label. Here's the key bit. If you don't give it a label, OK, um, there's nothing in here to kind of like make an AI or a bot pick it up. Let me explain what I mean. I'm going to get I've got name, email and message. I'm going to change this to be city. City is a valid label, right? What city do you live in or country or whatever? OK, I'm not going to copy that and add in another one and I'm going to call it uh, country. They are all not showing on your form at the moment. That's because we're using Honeypot. Now, by giving them real labels, there is a higher chance, a much, much, much higher chance as a robot or an AI or a spam bot or Mr. Weasel sitting in the background is going to complete those fields. And if any of those fields are completed, it's caught by Honeypot. It is not coming through into your email inbox. OK, it is going to get caught and just spammed out and not spammed out. It's just not going to come through. OK, so this is a really simple way to do it. I keep saying to people, how do I get rid of spam? Definitely, you know, you want to make sure if you haven't already, go in, um, uh, go to your Google, set up your recapture account, make sure you put the API key into your elemental settings. So that's all hooked up. Okay, let's get rid of that there. And then add in four fields for Honeypot with labels. And I cannot guarantee you are not going to get spam. But this could make a heavy duty impact. And I know that because I've done it on a lot of websites that we've built with recapture because the client did not want to pay for a premium service, even though some of them are only like eight, ten dollars a year. They didn't want to pay for it. They just didn't want to get spam. So we stick a free solution in. Look, I hope that helps and helps you helps and helps. I hope it helps and works for you. And if it does, please like, subscribe, share and follow. And I'll see you soon.